Let me show you how to use the TP1 cleat tool to set your cleats to your personal optimal position. First, you need to locate two positions on the shoe, your big toe joint axis and the center line of the shoe. The handbook guides you through this. Apply the stickers in each of these positions. As you can see, we've already applied the stickers in this example. Loosely attach the cleats to the shoes. This will allow you to adjust the cleats as needed. Now fit the shoe and the cleat into the Ergon TP1. Reference the handbook to identify your first neutral position, or what I call position zero. Move the shoe into the position as set out by the handbook. Start by setting the fore aft position of the cleat. Then adjust the Q factor. This is the distance between your feet. Finally, set the angle or rotation of the foot. Slide the TP1 and the shoe to the edge of the table and while holding the heel of the shoe, tighten the bolts from underneath. Go ahead and install the other shoe with the same settings. Because of the side-by-side -side design of the TP1, it couldn't be easier to achieve a perfectly symmetrical cleat installation. Put on your shoes and go out for a test ride. Most people find that they will still need to make a few final adjustments. If this is the case, be sure to record your cleat position since you may want to return to it later. Loosen your cleats once again and make any micro adjustments you like. This is especially easy with an Ergon TP1. Finally, slide the TP1 and the shoe to the edge of the table and again tighten your cleat from beneath. When it comes to cleat replacement, with a TP1 this couldn't be easier. Fit your shoe with the existing cleats to the tool. Now measure off the position and record it. Remove the old cleats and loosely fit the new ones. Using the steps previously outlined, you can now move your shoes into the positions you have recorded. Tighten the cleats down, hop on your bike and ride off happy.